What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bros Cast, episode 171. My name is Harrison. I am joined by my brother Nick, as always. Just a couple of housekeeping notes before we get the show started. Um, we we had, of course, we had um, we had off last week. Nick, you were in uh, mm-hmm. you were in Vietnam celebrating your uh, one year anniversary. So congratulations on that. Thank you. It's uh, super exciting. And uh, if you guys can, if you're whether you guys are new, this first time listening to the show or you've been listening for a while, go on, uh, go on Apple Podcasts and uh, leave us a, a, a nice review or or a horrible review. Well, you know, it all it all helps. You know, if, if it's going to make the show yeah. better, um, if you're just being a jerk because, you know, we're uh, you know, we, we got some bad thing to say about PlayStation here in a little bit. Um, you know, it is what it is. But. Yeah, that, that would be much appreciated. And uh, if you want to watch us live and um, and interact with us, uh, twitch.tv slash gaming with the bros cast is how you can do that. So, Nick, before we jump into um, Zelda, because we will be talking all things Zelda today, uh, mm-hmm. we are going to be focusing on more of the middle game. Um, so last time we recorded, it was kind of the early stuff. We didn't really spoil much. We're going to be spoiling some stuff today, whether it's, you know, temples or certain quests or something like that. And we'll yeah. when we get to that moment of spoil of, you know, spoilers, we'll, um, you know, we'll 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 say it before we before we do so. And I'll have everything in uh, in the show notes, of course, in the uh, like the chapters mm-hmm. marks. So um, we'll we won't try to ruin it for you guys. But if you guys haven't played a ton of Zelda, then maybe hold off and listen, you know, in a few weeks when, when you get the chance. But Nick, how was your uh, how was your time in Vietnam? Because we haven't talked since uh since you left (laughs) yeah i know um it was awesome it was it was it was really amazing um we went to three three different cities in vietnam like one city uh ho chi minh city uh south vietnam we were there for probably four days total and then we were in um kind of another another city Smaller city, kind of like a beach, a beach town called Van Teet. Um, we were there for two days, and that's where um, Alicia's grandma lives. So we, you know, I got to got to meet her for the first time, which is really really special. And um, yeah, I got to see, you know, where she lived and get to see, all, you know, that city and all about that. Um, and then we went up north to the capital, Hanoi, and we were there for about three or four days. Okay. Um. So we we had to fly there. That was like a three hour or two hour flight to get there. Um, but yeah, all, like very like very beautiful country. Um, the food was amazing. Yeah, I saw all the uh, pictures and stuff from what whether it was from the group chat or <clears throat> stuff mom sent me or showed me. It yeah. looked it looked amazing. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't have anything there that that I didn't like, and a lot of the times we were just kind of walking around and and finding like something random on the street. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, someone would just cook right there and have these like plastic chairs that they put out, and you just sit right around them and and hang out and sweet. Yeah, yeah. What's well, cool? You got to like explore the whole country and didn't have to just stay in one spot for the whole trip. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was it was really nice like being there with um with my family in law because they they like they know a lot about being honest. Yeah. So they they could kind of be they were like our tour guide so to speak, and you know. Me specifically, but but took me around to to all the all the best places and yeah, you know, showed me around a lot and that was really really nice. Um, sorry if I'm like speaking a little slowly. I'm just jet lagged. Jet lagged. Yeah. If if you guys are yeah, if you guys tune in live, you could you could see the bags underneath the eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the yeah, way there wasn't yeah. bad because we we timed it where. We, well, we kind of like stayed up on the flights and then yeah. we got there at midnight. So we just slept right when we got there and then, and then we were fine the next day. Yeah. And you're, and you're also excited to go into, you know, yeah. a different country. And then the, the flight back is always horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And then the way back, we left there. Like we left midnight Vietnam time. So we had stayed up all day. Yeah. And then it took us, you know, 30 something hours to get home and got home at five o'clock yesterday and. I could barely, barely hold my eyes open hitting 8 p.m. last night. I was Ugh, gosh. falling asleep, sitting up on the couch, and I was like, okay, I'll play some Zelda to keep myself awake. And I ended up 
fall asleep playing that as probably well. not the best game to play while you're super tired because most of that game you're you're just exploring yeah. and not not a lot of actions going on and unless, unless you choose to engage but yeah most of the time you're just exploring so <laughs> yeah I, I i turned it off after i was like paragliding towards one of like the geoglyphs yeah and i was i would like exit i, I shut the paraglider to, to jump down a little bit further and i fell asleep while i was free falling in the air <laughs> and I, I hit the ground and died oh gosh yeah so sweet well i'm glad, glad you had a good time yeah yeah it was it was really great um yeah can't wait to can't wait to get back maybe in a few years um but yeah i i, I did to, like try to play a lot of Zelda on the flights, but yeah. I don't know. Like after a certain period in in a thirteen fourteen hour flight, I'm like I really don't want to play anything yeah. anymore. Like it it just kind of becomes a little not mundane, but just like I you just kind of get tired of it. Yeah, like, not I, I, I mean. I went in, I went th- I went in thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna play Zelda the entire time, the entire flight. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not gonna get tired of it or anything. But yeah, on the way back, I maybe played four or five hours. Yeah, total. Well, it's it's yeah, time, it's it's hard because I mean you're, you're sitting there staring at a little tiny screen. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I can it can get a little. Uh, I don't know what the word is, but um, I don't know. Just a little, a little samey. Yeah, a little samey. Yeah, yeah, and you, and you get like hot too <clears throat> while you're playing, and it's yeah. just, it's not totally comfortable. And I was I was tired of playing handheld by the end of it. Yeah, like, I'm ready to play on the TV again. Right, let's see if we just lay back on the couch and play. Yeah, cool. Yeah, but yeah, awesome. But yeah, amazing trip. Um, not excited to get back to work tomorrow, but yeah, I'm definitely glad that we had the day off today because yeah, that super helps. I don't know what I would have done otherwise would have had to skip work <laughs> yeah probably cool well before yeah. we dive into zelda um my week was pretty pretty good um we had of course a memorial day weekend so nice nice long weekend is always always good um cooked out we cooked out on saturday we did like ribs and stuff and then it's just been kind of rainy pretty mm-hmm. much the whole weekend which is yeah, kind, of kind of always a bummer for, for memorial day since all the pools and stuff open but Hey, I got to play a ton of uh ton of Zelda over the weekend, so that was that was awesome. Yeah. Um and then we got to Kellen's for the night of my parents last night, and I went and got a uh pedicure for the first time today. Oh it was, how was it? The, one of the greatest things I've ever experienced. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was awesome. Um Yeah, because uh, yeah. the girls were already gonna go and I was like, you know what? I you know, I've been talking about going for like a month yeah. or so now. Uh, I'll, I'll let's just do it. So I went and yeah, just they're pretty great. I actually got one last week as well. Yeah, and oh man, it, your toes feel so good. Yeah, it's got my it's got my nails trimmed and um, I don't know. Yeah, just got them cleaned up, stuff like that. Got got a nice little like foot and calf massage. It was it was fantastic. Yeah, sat sat in a massage chair. It was great. I I don't love the the calf massage part of it. Really? Yeah, like, okay, so maybe they just didn't use enough oil when they did it Yeah, on me last week, but, like, by the end of it, like, they were just, like, it felt like they were, like, scraping my, my leg hairs. Oh, yeah, see, my, yeah, they were, they used plenty of, like, oils and stuff like that, so okay. it, it just felt like a massage, yeah. All right, cool, well, let's, um, let's dive in, let's dive into Zelda. So, we Nick and I have both finished the the wind the fire and the water temple we still have mm-hmm. i don't know what the other one's called um is it the lightning temple or the lightning grudo temple? It, it's, it's whatever it's going on in the grudo region so i'm assuming yeah probably probably mm-hmm. lightning because that's that's what the the that's what um Uraboso had so um i'm assuming that's that's what it is but um yes yeah, so we haven't done that one so it's pretty funny that <laughs> we both decided away for grudo last but I've been to that region and I've I've been to the um Gerudo town, like the main the main village or whatever. Um it is okay, a little, it does yet. seem like a, it is a little bit harder. Um 
like the, the I think the enemies are a little bit more challenging, and plus you've got some some environmental ha- hazards to to deal with. But um, mm. yeah, let, let's just start. Like, how did you so when you're when you're playing that when you because I know we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, but I, I've I've done the map completely now. I've I've yeah. gotten all the Skyview towers. How how did you how did you do your adventure across Hyrule? Probably as like sporadically as you could possibly think. I, really? Yeah. I, I I did the water temple first. I went to Zora's domain first. Oh wow! Which okay. Is synonymous with what I with what I did with Breath of the Wild. I just decided to take up the same route. Okay. And then I think I traveled south from there and went to like the Nakluda region. Okay. Yeah. And then and then cro- went across Hyrule to uh to the Rito village. Okay. And and did that area, and. And then I I bounced around a lot between the the sky, the depths, and the in the main service. Yeah. But basically, I went back across Hyrule to uh to like the Elden Elden Mountain. Yeah. The Death Mountain area, and and did the Fire Temple from there. Okay. But in between all that, I've just been bouncing around, uh, just going to places that that I remembered from Breath of the Wild or that are that look, you know, that look interesting. Like I've I've done one of the the labyrinth quests, yeah. Like the with the sky and the land and, and depths labyrinths and um yeah, just kind of just kind of been bouncing around. Like cool, really no rhyme or reason to to anywhere that I went. Hey, that's, aside from that's when fine. I was like, okay, I'm I'm really gonna go towards this temple now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've been well, pretty much so. I I started obviously you know in in the in high roll the um lookout landing or whatever and then i i went straight to the rito region uh that's really i think that's where it t- tells you to go first yeah it pushes you in that direction it pushes yeah it pushes you in that direction so i went up that way um and i i kind of went up that way uh went went to like to the rito village didn't start uh, that main quest yet and then i kind of i really just kind of went up around Hyrule went to the Elden region like went went to Goron City um didn't initiate really any of the quests there uh and then kind of just went down like south like southeast um yeah it went, went to like the, the Nakluda region found like Hakarika village and then and then kind of went uh, like towards like the middle of Hyrule like and then I kind of went to the mm. that's when you said something about the Great Plateau so I went there and then I just kind of filled in the remaining spots that I hadn't already gotten to. Uh, it ended in like the um, Gerudo Valley, and that was the last lookout tower I needed. But yeah, it was, nice. it was really just a big circle around Hy- Hyrule, and it felt just really cool uh, doing so you that. Really didn't, you didn't really fast travel that much, did you? Not, you not really. Went, went yeah, not really, because I mean, just recently I started taking like the Zonai charges and getting the upgraded battery pack so i didn't really go yeah. back to lookout landing much other than to upgrade like my health and stamina and stuff because um, i did that pretty quickly i i upgraded a couple hearts and then i did my full like i did a full wheel of the stamina wheel just because like that's so important um yeah so yeah it's just been i mean uh yeah before before we dive into the the temples mm-hmm. and how we thought about what we've played so far how how are you enjoying the game overall compared to, um, I don't know compared to other games compared to Breath of the Wild? I mean, what what's your what's your experience like so far? I I think I'm liking it more than than Breath of the Wild, and it's it's really hard to say because like a lot of the I mean all the locations are familiar and yeah. you know, I guess you could say it feels like um treading familiar ground, right? But at the same time, there's so much new to discover between the sky islands and, and the depths that it, it really doesn't feel like I'm doing the same thing again. Yeah. And, and you know, even, even with the familiar locations, they've, they've changed so much that it's really exciting to go back to, to a location that I've, that I've previously explored in breath of the wild because, yeah. uh, because like the question is like, Oh my gosh, what, what's changed? Like with a great plateau, it's like, that was such an iconic location in breath of the wild. Like, how did that evolve yeah. in Tears of the Kingdom? And, you know, a, a big change to that one is is the depths portion. And, like, that that part is so built out 
Yeah. And the quest there is really cool of like yep. trying to get those um like those those pieces back to uh I, I don't know, back back to that back to that guy. <laughs> back to the the statue? Yeah, back to the statue. Yeah. Yeah, like that that quest is really cool. Um so I, I'm I'm really enjoying just the exploring aspect of it. Like cool. Even if there weren't any any dungeons or any significant main story quests like this game would still be amazing yeah because it's one of those it, like just like breath of the wild it's one of those see that see that thing go there yeah get and then and then get sidetracked by 100 different things along the way yeah 100 different korok quests or you know random signpost quests like and and then all the side adventures in the towns too like the i don't know if you did the the electoral electoral quest I, i've Tina got Village. i've got a couple of those initiated um and it, and it gave me really heavy like either yeah like like even majora's mass vibes like when you have to mm -hmm. trail the girl and, and granted she doesn't go very far like you don't have really have to do much you just kind of watch yeah. her but yeah when you when you trail her um like that that gave me kind of majora's mass vibes but uh yeah yeah i mean it's Knowing that there's a thousand Korok seeds in this game, I just have not done much Korok stuff. I mean, I've got like I'll, if I've seen them, if I see them, I'll do them. But even like the one, the one that's always, you know, he's got that heavy backpack on. I, I just uh, avoid him, and I just avoid him at this point. Um, really? Yeah, because I mean, sometimes they'll have stuff that that you need to that you can build to to get them over. Um, and then sometimes they don't, and you have to use your own stuff, and it's just. I don't know. I, I haven't really touched the Korok stuff. I've I've um I've upgraded my inventory a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I have like fifty or sixty Korok seeds at this point. So I've been doing them, but I'm definitely not going to be trying to do every single one of those. I, I just that's just crazy. And and the 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 thing is the same. I think it's the same trophy. So it's like really you all did it again to us. Yeah, I wonder if there's like an additional layer of poo to yeah. the trophy or anything this time around, but. Yeah, that that is weird that it's the same the same trophy, and I get it because like you need you need the Korok seeds because you need something to help you expand your inventory. Yeah, like you need that progression. So I, I understand why it's like why it's there, just like why uh, why shrines are back because yeah. that's you know how you progress your your stamina and, and and health. But yeah, you've got to be mad to. Uh, I was to just like, and there's a, there's a hundred more. Like, come on, man, like. <laughs> And like yeah, I guess it makes doing? it easier that you get two for those yeah. delivery delivery quests or whatever. But I don't know. I I find this fun because like it allows me to experiment a little bit. Yeah, that is true. And you know, just send the Koroks and in, in various directions. Like some of them are are quite difficult. Like I remember one in in the the snowy region, the Hebrew Mountains, where like you had to get him like like way up like way 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 up and yeah it, and it didn't really give you any any materials to do so so i just had to like fire him on a rocket and hope for the best yeah some of them are pretty fun and pretty funny to do but i'm not i'm not doing every one that i come across yeah are you are you helping the sign guy i am dude i love those <laughs> just... yeah those are so fun it, it's like some. It's like sometimes you sit there and build something, and you're like super confident, and you're like, "All right, this is gonna work." And then it just it falls to the left or something, and he's like, "Oh my god!" Like it's what are always. You doing? It's like oh, it's always funny, Mr. President. It's, uh, <laughs> Mr. It's, President, no. Uh, but yeah, that, those are those are. Cool. I, don't, I don't know. If, I don't know what the the grand prize is after you do all those, but yeah, I've been I've been doing them all as I come across them. And he's just like in some random spots too. Just I know. They, like one, he was really like up in here. He's like up in the Heber Mountains, like freezing. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just standing I, here. I think there's like 80 of them. Oh, really? Okay. There's there's a lot. Yeah, there's there, dude. This game is, it's jam packed, man. And the fact that I, I don't know if you saw the headline, but um, the game was done last year, yeah. and they they delayed it just so they could polish it. Like that, that's like no other. That's I'm so sorry, cool. no other game development company like does that. Like. They'll, yes, they'll they'll definitely polish, but for a game to be done like a year for ago, a year and you're just you're crazy. just polishing up and I mean I, I'm I'm seventy hours in and yeah there there's there's a lot of like hiccups and and um you know like some frame rate issues frame rate issues for sure especially when you go into like uh we're oddly enough but when you go into the stables I get a lot of frame rate issues 
Um, but other than that, I mean, I haven't had any sort of like glitches. No bugs. Or no, like I, I've had some some funny, like um, uh, oh gosh, um, what, what I'm trying to think of the ultra hand. Yeah, some funny stuff with ultra hand and like when it, whenever you create vehicles and stuff, like you'll have some some weird stuff going on with that, especially when they get shot up into the air. So um, but. I don't even know if that's just jank or maybe just something was too heavy on one side. And I just didn't realize like, who knows. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, there, there was there, there was one there was one shrine quest that I did uh, and I was getting a little frustrated because it's I can't remember where it was at, but um, it's it's one. It's got these two like targets that are like on to kind of on top of each other, like ones on a lower level and ones on a higher level. And you've got yeah. this plank that's hanging off the side and you have to take a ball put it on the one side and then take one of the cubes and drop it on there and it catapults the ball. And I was able to get the first one and then I got it to hit the second one like two or three times and it never registered um, that it hit. And then finally, randomly it did. And I was like, okay. So, you know, I don't know if I just wasn't... I I don't know. I don't know if I just wasn't putting it, like dropping on the plank at the right angle. And I I have no idea, but I finally got to go. Mm -hmm. But other than that, that, that's really the only one that really caused me some issues. Like, I don't know. The shrine is the shrines are pretty much there to, to like as like the tutorial for just all the crazy nonsense that you could do. Um, yeah, definitely in the world. Uh, and then yeah, yeah. There's some been some really cool shrines. Yeah, there's, there's probably one for each zone I device, kind of like tutorializing those a little bit. And then yeah. there's just a lot of of random physics based shrines. Like there's yeah. like a Django one, and then yeah, I did that one. There, there's there's a couple ones where like you're building vehicles and you're kind of like doing obstacles and that kind of stuff. And then and of course you have like your combat shrines where it mm-hmm. trips you of all your all your weapons and you know, yeah, those those are those are like order. the least interesting ones I've I've found. There's there's been a couple of cool ones where mm-hmm. you know you're there. It's like there was one where it was like three kind of rivers that were going around and you have to get onto like the oh, boat yeah. and kind of go around. Like that that one was at least interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I love and I love I love the fact that all the shrines are connected to shrines into the depths, like the light root trees or whatever mm-hmm. that you can yeah, find. That's super cool. And then there's some because I'll even start to I'll find a, a like a light root tree um, in the depths and I'll pull up my map and go to the surface. And if I don't see a shrine there, I'll mark it. And that way I can go find a shrine later on because some some shrines on the surface aren't activated. And you have to do some sort of puzzle or something like that. Um, like I found one, like the, the the ones in the sky where they've got like the green, like the you know, green gym or whatever. Uh, you have yeah, to get the to the to the shrine in order for it to activate. I found that I found one of those on the surface, which was pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, there's there's just so much, dude, there's so much to do in this game. It's it is it is crazy. Yeah, and like even even outside of shrines and and that kind of stuff like there's like kind of big sweeping quests called side adventures where yeah i love it you know you have your um your your great fairies yeah and i just did that one yesterday i finished up that one nice yeah you can unlock the four uh great fairy fountains and um, um, upgrade your armor yeah even more that that, Um, that's so once i got the upgraded like i got I think I got a couple of sets to like the full power Mm -hmm. and like you just just eat enemies hits like it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy how much it it impacts your your ability in in the combat like. It you can really sponge some some hits, even from even from Lionel's and the more powerful enemies like the Gleox, which I I killed my first Gleox today. You did. okay. I was going to ask. I I finally killed a Lionel on Saturday. Um, and it nice. was really the first one I, I've came across a couple and dude, they're so menacing. Like I, you walk mm-hmm. by and like the little question mark comes up, like the black and white one. And they look at you because I was sitting, I was doing something. I, I was on the, I was, I think I was doing like a shrine or, or near a shrine. I was, I was building something and I turn around and the Lionel staring at me out of nowhere. And then I just like slowly walk behind the tree and he, 
he's still staring at me and he eventually walked away but i was just like oh my gosh uh, but i have not uh, i've attempted to fight a couple of gliox uh the fire one that's on the bridge yeah. near um the great plateau and then the ice one that's over in the uh, the heber mountains near the near one of the stables oh, uh, but yeah, i have not beaten any of them yet yeah i went to, I, I did the one in the coliseum it was okay. the, the lightning one with the thunder gliox uh it was pretty tough I, I i recommend using the the keys eyeballs okay because you like you want to um headshot all three of the heads and then and then he'll fall down and you can oh, okay you can That's get cool. some hits in so like he was probably a third health left and he had flown like way up in the air but since i had shot keys eyeballs at him they like they, they locked onto him and they got That's him awesome and they got all three heads and he fell down pretty a pretty long way and and had some significant fall damage oh wow so i was able to like quickly take him out after that but yeah that's a it's a super cool fight i can't wait to go and and fight the other ones too because i know there's like a a try headed like a try elemental one so oh, really okay yeah i think it was like somewhere in the sky Islands, do they but... do they respawn after or are they just gone <sighs> i think they do i think they do respawn okay okay after the blood moon I guess I guess tip on that if if you if you didn't know, but um, and for the listeners, if you get a Lionel bow that has that it can shoot three arrows at the same time, it'll shoot three different items if you put it on there. So you can shoot three different keys eyeballs, and it'll lock on. Okay, yeah, because that that must have been what I was doing. Yeah, I had the Lionel bow. So the, that's a great a great combination is is the yeah. Lionel bow and the keys eyeballs, and it'll shoot three and it'll and it only uses up one yeah. one item, which is really cool. So. Oh, does it? It doesn't use up three. No, I think it just uses up one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, those, those are really cool. I'm really glad they they added in Gliox. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, they're, a, they're super really super thing. interesting. Yeah, yeah. And now, there, there's you... a couple of other like mini bosses too. Yeah, um, there's. I mean, there's. Um, yeah, there's. We'll talk about the one that's at the Water Temple. I've fought in that one twice now in the depths, mm-hmm. the Scourge of the Depths or whatever. Um, but. Uh, yeah, the, the Gleox are, are super cool. Uh, have you? The only thing I really have not done is created like the crazy contraptions that I've seen people building. But I, I don't know. That's just above my IQ level. I, but <laughs> yeah, <I'm, laughs> my IQ feels pretty low sometimes in this game. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done like I've made some pretty cool stuff to get places. Um, and I really love the fact that um, spoiler, we'll talk about this here in a second. But Master Koga and the Yiga Clan are back and they're predominantly in the depth um that's where a lot of those missions are um and i love the fact that they are just all on board with the zonai tech and oh, yeah, you can you it. can get all the um all the different uh oh the schematics the schematics and stuff like that so i've gotten like the i found the one where it's got the three um spring that's embedded with the little like um i don't know the stick thing whatever i can't remember what it's called but the thing where you can like go into the ground and and oh the stake the stake yeah this so it's that and just it just launches you in the air like crazy so that's cool. with that i mean i know a lot of people are upset that rivali's gale isn't in the game and that that was probably like the most useful um getting around uh ability you had but i mean there's yeah between the rockets that you have you just put on the shield you go up the, the springs. I mean, there's there's a lot of the hot air balloons. I mean, there's so many good options to use to. Oh yeah, there's a ton to, to get around. And yeah, man, I I know I'm 70 hours in, but I mean this this game is it's just one. It's we said the same thing. Out, out, we had the same, the same thing about Elden Ring last year. It was like one of those once in a generation kind of games. This is like for sure once oh, yeah. in like game of the decade type of game. I mean, I. I know we're halfway through the year, but I just don't see anything else coming close to this for me. Unless unless Starfield can do it. Mm-hmm. And I just I don't know just because of how I know there's sophisticated. There's, uh, there's no way there's just all the abilities and mechanics that are in Zelda. I, I don't think Starfield will do it. And, and I know I want to play Spider-Man, but it kind of looks more of the same with what we've seen in the you know in the um the showcase you know i, I know it'll be different than than uh yeah like i mean the, the other spider the, the other spider-man but i mean it looks kind of it looked more of the same which i didn't expect for it to be 
you know, something completely different, you know. Um, not all games can be Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and be wildly different than, than their first yeah. part, but... Yeah, T- uh, Tears of the Kingdom is just, it's, it's so special. It it really has something for everybody, and like the fact that you can you can build and customize your own house. Like, yeah, yeah, I've, I haven't gotten to that. I mean, I've I've been to Terrytown, but I haven't. Um, I don't think I've done the quest with this first for uh, Hudson's daughter yet. I don't think okay, I've finished yeah, that. Yeah, that's so. a that's a fun that's a kind of fun endearing quest. Yeah. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, there's like you you don't have to touch any of the mechanic stuff for the most part if you don't want to. I mean, it's it's there and it makes the it makes traversing stuff easier. Um, but as far as combat goes, like you don't need it at all. Um, no. So I mean, uh, like in in terms of like the ultra hand stuff. Yeah, like in, in ter- yeah. In terms of just like building itself. Um, yeah. You, you don't necessarily need it because I I have built I have built a couple of like. You know, especially when you get like the hover, the um, the homing, um, the homing cart, or whatever that's on wheels, yes. and you you put you put like the, the flame emitter or something on there. Uh, it's super cool. You just send like three of them at like a uh, you know an enemy or something like that. Super awesome. Um, but for the most part, I, I think you definitely have to use fuse. I think yeah, you, you have to, yeah, like fuse is yeah. is in order to to get this weapon strong enough to do damage. Um, you've got to use fuse, and if you've got amiibo, use your amiibo because you get some pretty decent weapons out of that that you can then then fuse. Mm-hmm. Um, but Nick, let's uh, let's let's switch over, and then you want to jump into uh, some temples. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, do you want to start with? Um, so you you started with the water temple first, right? Yeah, that was the first one I did. Okay, well, we can we can start with uh, we can start with wind. I mean, we could, we could, we'll start, we can start with water. I think that, that, that was a good one to start with. Okay. So this is, uh, your, your old best friend, Sidon, Sidon. um, which he's such a cool character. What a Chad. Um, so yeah, I mean, you, you get up to, uh, you know, you get up to the Zora domain and it's completely covered in, uh, goopy, goopiness. Um, yeah, it's black goop. Kind of, kind of reminded me of, uh, like Mario, um, oh, Mario's uh, sunshine, uh, with all, with yeah. all the goopy and stuff going on. And uh, yeah, you, you you eventually make your way up to uh, you you get the Zora's armor again, so you get to you get to use the the waterfall mechanic, which is which is super cool. Yeah. Um, and then you get up to the uh, to the to the water temple, and the uh, just just getting up to the water temple was super fun. Like when you yeah. when you have to use the bubbles and stuff, they they introduce like the bubble mechanic and like the the low gravity for the first time, I believe. Um, yeah, that was that was in the game, which is super, super awesome. Yeah, my 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 jaw was on the floor when I got there and I was like, yeah. what? It's it's low gravity because it's so high up. That's I kinda, like awesome. I, I wish that they would introduce like gravity boots or something. I know this is not this yeah. type of game, but like that would have been so cool to have because once I got that and then <clears throat> I went, I finished it and went back to the surface. I was like, no, I need I need this gravity back. <laughs> no, it, it was so cool for for combat and for traversal like. Yeah, that that area, even yeah, just getting up to the water temple was like a good thirty minutes of yeah, of traversal and 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 all that kind of stuff. And yeah, the the balls of water were were really cool as well. Yeah, so that was that was super fun just getting there. Yeah, I, I'd almost just combine that with the, the water temple itself because once you actually get up to the water yeah. temple, it's pretty basic. Like it's. You it's, get up on yeah, the platform, five, five things, and then like even just getting to there's like yeah, there's four or five different spots you have to go to, and all the temples are really the same thing. Um, they're not super. If you're if you're looking for like a typical dungeon or temple from like Ocarina of Time or something, it's definitely not that. But right. I think it's better than the um, the beasts in Breath of the Wild. No, de- yeah, definitely better than the beast. Even just thematically, yeah, like, the divine beasts were all the same. They're yeah. all the the Sheikah technology. Um, these at least look way different. So that I mean, that's already off on a better on a better note. Yeah. Um, and I was I was trying to think of like how they would do a traditional dungeon in in a game like Breath of the Wild, and like you can't because you have really you have can't. you have the uh, ascend ability. You, yeah, yeah, you have ascend. You can climb. Like that's. That's that's a problem. All right, already if you're trying to if you're trying to stop someone's progress, like in a normal yeah. dungeon, and lock it behind certain items, like you just have to make the ceilings really high or something. I I don't really know the yeah. answer to that. You're 
you're too free as a player to to be you know ma- like contained within a yeah. dungeon like and a i don't, I don't think dungeon. you would i don't think i would necessarily want that like in this game because like you said you are so free to tackle anything like really how you want to um which i want to talk to you about we'll get to the fire temple but i had some questions for you about that one um but yeah i, I don't think being confined in a in a relatively tighter space you know that you, you do have the the caves and stuff in the game which are which yeah. are really cool um but but again you can leave out of those caves anytime you want uh with with a sin so yeah i don't know how they would do a, tra- a traditional one like you said but um yeah the ones that they provided are 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 good they're really i think they're really good way better than the beasts and yeah i, I think they they I think they started their purpose yeah and i think the bosses are even better too yeah yeah so i mean there's they're, they're actually actually different exactly yeah, yeah they're not all the same like the blight game or whatever yeah um so yeah, I mean, once you once you do the the water temple stuff, uh, you fight the uh, I can't remember his name, but he's like a Splatoon boss. He's like an Octo much. Octo Rock or whatever, uh, and he has like a shark form that he takes. Um, and you get to mm-hmm. use Sidon's ability, where you, I guess it, it's a shield, right? It's it's a one hit shield. Yep. But you can and, then, and then if you don't out. if you don't if you don't break it, you can you can shoot out water, which which is what you have to do, and and then you eventually um eventually kill him and then you you get Sidon as like a like like a ghost uh, like um companion or spirit companion yeah uh, you get to have him um and you get to use that ability which is which is cool um and yeah, and, 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 and honestly they, they actually yeah they fight and like the the AI is actually pretty decent like they they aggro enemies and they actually they've killed a lot of enemies for me you know whether oh, yeah. it's uh we'll talk about Tulin here in a second but i mean he's been he one shots enemies all the time Tulin Tulin goes off man yeah Tul- Tulin's the goat of this game i haven't i haven't gotten to the Gurudu yeah. stuff yet but uh Tulin is Tulin is awesome um yeah Tulin's amazing but yeah i i think the water temple i mean it, it's probably my least well i don't know i think i, I might have liked it better than the wind temple yeah, i thought the, the wind, wind temple, temple aesthetically was really cool but I, I feel like the the five, um, I, I guess I'll call them puzzle. I, I think the five puzzles in the Wind Temple weren't as engaging as the ones in the Water Temple. Yeah, it's just more of like, how do I get to this spot to activate it? Yeah, rather than like, what do I do here? Yeah, yeah, what? They, yeah, what they, they weren't possible. actually puzzles really. They were, it was just like you just had to make your way there, and then the ones on the Water Temple actually felt more like a like a puzzle. Um, yeah. Cool. But yeah, I mean, I like I like the water temple. That was that was really cool. That that whole that whole area with uh, with Sidon and the Zors, Zors and stuff. Yeah, I I love Zor's domain. I think that's a it's a really cool area. I mean, obviously it rains a lot, so it's hard to traverse there. But yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, Zor's domain is super cool. Did you did you do the the quest where you go underneath Zor's domain and get? I think you get like a piece of armor. If you go underneath one of the waterfalls, I don't think I've done that. I'll have to. I, I've, I've get, kind of, I've gotten a lot of side quests and stuff like that, but I haven't done a lot. Just I'm trying to savor them as much as possible. Yeah. Um, which on a side note, have you been underneath Hyrule's castle into that chasm? Yes, I, 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 I did too. I, <laughs> I got to what I think is the end is, game. Is the end game? I, I hit the cutscene and I, I stopped. And I reloaded my past, my previous save and then left because I didn't want to see the cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did. I like started that big battle. Yeah. And died. Oh, you died. I was okay. Not prepared at all. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is this is where it all happens. But yeah, getting I, I, there I, was I didn't realize cool. you could <laughs> go there immediately. I thought for some reason I thought it was up in the castle, yeah. which I did go up into the castle too and and got the um got the armor there the uh mm-hmm. the what what is it? The tunic from Breath of the Wild, the uh, champion's tunic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, got that. And there, there's some good, there's some pretty good weapons up there too. Yeah, just like laying around. Yeah. Um. So I did that, but um. But yeah, let's um. You want to talk about the uh, the wind temple? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, wind temple. You have you have. Oh man, everyone's favorite boy Tulin. Yeah, Tulin. Tulin's Tulin's so cool, man. He's like yeah, uh, he's so cool. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a sweet little boy, and his his ability is really cool too. Of of giving you like the speed boost when you're flying, which is which is kind of like the, uh, 
Raleigh scale, just yeah, Raleigh horizontal. Scale. <laughs> yeah, which which I feel like is better in this game because you're you're traversing more higher up. Yeah, so like you need that extra. It, that yeah, extra that, that that ability has come in clutch so many times for me. Oh yeah, uh, that's definitely my definitely my most used ability in the in the game so far. But yeah, sure. I mean, just again, kind of like the water temple, getting up to the to the wind temple was was awesome like going up and this is like really i think i want to say this was like really the first time no it's not the first time i've been up to the the sky island since the the plateau um oh but it was one of the first times where like i've gotten significantly high in the air Mm -hmm. um which was which was really cool but but yeah getting up to it again was was kind of like part of the part of the temple bouncing off the pirate ships and stuff like that like it was it was really cool yeah that was that was awesome like that that portion and then just you really have to use uh tulin's ability oh yeah when you're getting up there like it 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 really does come in clutch like such a such a cool ability and i'm excited to see what um what the gerudo ability is too yeah something lightning related but i think so yeah But yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you uh, you go into the the big like hurricane storm. Like you you jump over it and go yeah, in. Yeah, oh, that was that so was, awesome. That was super badass. Uh, and then yeah, kind of the same uh, same structure as the water temple and and as the and as the fire temple too. But you're you're going to the five spots and five spots unlocking the the gate or or the seal or or whatever it is. Yeah, unlocking the seal. But this this yeah. was probably the best boss fight. Yeah, this term, boss fight was cool. Yeah. So it's like a giant. What is it like a giant? It almost like it's like a giant centipede or almost. It, it, yeah, like a giant centipede that's, that's flying through the air. Yeah, and and this one like you don't use your weapons at all. You're you're diving through mm-hmm. its weak points as it's shooting up rocks at you. Um, so probably the most unique boss fight I've seen in a long time. And Zelda. wait, did you you did you dove through the weak points? Yeah, you dive through it. Oh, use I was, your, use I was your shooting arrows. with arrows. <laughs> oh yeah, you could totally dive through it. <laughs> that's that's crazy oh, dang, that you could yeah. do that though. I didn't I didn't. I thought Tulin said dive through it or something, but maybe he probably did. I I probably just missed it and like oh I'm shoot through shoot through it with arrows. Yeah, but, I mean yeah, it's cool that you can do it two ways. Yeah, it was awesome. Man, I wish I would have dove through it. That sounds way more fun. Yeah, it was it was awesome. It was a, it was an awesome like set piece. That whole the whole area was like was a great set piece. So yeah, yeah, I really like the Wind Temple. I thought the again like the the structure of like the ship itself was was cool, but it felt a little bit more tedious than than the Water Temple did. Um, right 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 but uh but still still a really and for me it was my first temple so it was a, a great start to seeing the temples for the first time in the game but yeah it was good yeah and, and the completion of this one had a had a good payoff because you you resolved the the storm yeah. that was going on so it made traversal around that area much easier and it yeah. kind of you know it cleared up uh rita village yeah you know, it, it it made that area a lot prettier yeah once, i mean yeah it was, it, the storm cleared yeah up. it made it actually <laughs> enjoyable to fly around and uh, where the water yeah. temple yeah they had the you know they had the, the sludge or whatever but you could pretty much remove around that as you as you needed to but um let's talk you know talk about the fire temple next oh yeah good old good old fire temple which oh my god so confusing yeah so this one structurally was completely different um you yes. go and you go to goron city and, and you meet what, what's his name you know you know Bo? You know, Bo. You know, Bo. Yeah. Um, so you, you find him and uh, you kind of get to the point where all these sightings of Zelda, like you're kind of thinking maybe that's not actually Zelda, that it's like a mimic or something. Um, or, yeah, someone's impersonating her. Yeah, impersonating, which, you know, going back to the, the we'll talk about the Dragon Tears quest in a little bit, but um, going back. Yeah, you're, you're just like, hmm, I don't, I don't think this is actually actually a Zelda. Um, and then you actually get up into, you, know, you have that really cool, boss fight on top of uh death mountain and you're like flying around in the <laughs> yeah. just, I was, uh, that was so awesome that one was cool i i did like fall to the ground and i was trying to use ultra hand to move it move the uh the glider around so i could yeah. take off again yeah and then i i found another one so I could okay use that one, but i was like oh my god like i cannot get this thing in the right spot <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. It's super, yeah super, super quick boss fight and then you get to obviously jump into the um the depths again uh and uh go to the fire temple which yeah, is again it's cool that this one's stru- underground yeah which, which again structurally completely different than than the other two uh because mm-hmm. this one's like there's five levels and it's on and it's a rail car system so you're putting carts on and moving around and stuff like that um yeah. i had a hard i had a hard time on this one 
uh, on on where to go. Yeah, yeah. Like I I, I did the first few, um, the first few puzzles with with no issues because I would just go into a direction and then I'd find one. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, how do I get up? Like, how do I get to the third floor and the fourth floor? I just, I just climbed. I just, yeah, I ended up climbing. Which I didn't, I didn't, that didn't feel like what the developers wanted me to do, which, I mean, again, it's Tears of the Kingdom, so you can kind you of do whatever you want. you want, but it didn't feel right, I guess. But yeah. it worked. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I, I had a lot of trouble on the last one as well, because it was, it was locked behind a gate, so you had to go up to the fifth floor. Yeah, and knock that boulder out, and then dive yeah, in. Yeah, which I had done... But I'd forgotten about it. Yeah. Ah, uh, gotcha. I was okay. Like, How do I get in this door? And yeah, because I because there's the there's the one lock that's right there, and then if you take the, then you have to make the yeah the the bridge, and which the the. This game is like if you can't do it, long bridge is always the option. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> just or, make or a long bridge, bridge. And recall. Yeah. And just <laughs> make yourself a little a little uh, gliding platform and yeah and move over that way but yeah i i don't know how you're supposed to get to a few of those floors otherwise like yeah. as, aside from climb i spent a lot of time climbing yeah in that in that temple i, I climbed to like the third or fourth floor and then there's a part where there's it's behind one of the buildings. There's like a chest and it has two of those little great pieces on top of it. And you have to move it. And I was like, yeah, I said, like, well, let me let me get out my hot air balloon and the fire emitter, attach it and then just float up. And then that's what I did. And oh, it got me. Smart. It got me to the top. Got me to the top four. And this right. game really makes you feel super smart and super dumb sometimes. <laughs> yeah, kind of at the same time sometimes because you, you don't think tries. like. I don't know if it's just. The Zelda mentality, but you just you you. I guess with Zelda, you have to use the tool or you have to use the items that are there. And outside of the shrines, you could just use you whatever, whatever you have. have. You can use the stuff they provide you or the stuff that you it's in, in your inventory. And I sometimes I forget about that, and I'll forget I'll forget about ascend too. And I'm like, well, I was like, how do I get up to ascend? Of course, yeah, ascend, ascend is is always the answer. It's I love ascent. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite abilities. Yeah, it's super awesome. How good it is for traversal, like especially just getting out of caves. I, I still think that's so cool that you yeah. can just descend out of a cave whenever just be you done want. With it. Yeah, um, yeah, and then so after you do that, you you fight uh, glad to see Goma back. Yeah. Okay. Goma from um from uh, Ocarina, right? Yeah. Which I think I think Goma's been in other series before, like mm -hmm. other other yes. um other uh games but i can't remember but ocarina of time is like obviously the most uh iconic one because that's the that's the first boss but yeah glad glad, yeah. glad to see it, yeah that was really cool there. to see go on uh, that, it, that it was, was actually a, was a really great fight yeah it was a super fun fight just launching um uh him up there and and then having her come drop down and then you just whack at her but yeah super cool fight and you like use the rec recall ability and stuff like that to, to launch the stuff back at her super cool oh i didn't even do that Oh yeah, I, yeah. I hadn't even used recall. And anytime people throw stuff at you, just always use recall. Same yeah. same thing for like the um, the uh, what is it? The flux enemies, the ones that are like the right, yeah, yeah. the the flux constructs. Yeah, because when they when they fly high up in the air and they launch them at you, you just hit recall and you can get <laughs> you back can up there. Back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th those fights are really fun too. Those are yeah, they're super fun. Those, but so um, see, so yeah, I think I think the fire temple. <sighs> I think it's my second. I think the Water Temple is still my favorite uh, out of the three. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Fire the Fire and Temple was really cool, and I liked I liked the boss battles and stuff. And the fact that it was in the depths was was super cool too. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like what they were going for with the with the Fire Temple. It felt more expansive. I I really enjoy like the minecart stuff and, yeah. and the fact that you can you know just fuse a minecart to your shield and 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 grind on it that way instead of actually using a minecart. So that was really helpful yeah. in this temple. Um, yeah, the shield, the shield surfing came in. The Tony Hawk <laughs> pro skater came in clutch on this temple. Heck yeah, heck yeah. It was, well, there was there was, was one time where and I and I I'll have to post on TikTok, but there was one of the um the uh, enemies coming around on the cart, and I just picked the cart up with my ultra hand, turned it upside down, <laughs> so he fell out, and then I just I took, I took the cart back back to, my, to me. I'll take this. Thank you. Yep. And then I just recalled it, and it 
went back onto the to the track and I just and I got in. But yeah, just oh so many awesome moments like that in this game. But yeah, I, and I think like cool. just just a side note, like every single ability in this game is is phenomenal. Yeah, recall, ultra hands, ascend, fuse. Like th- these are like the greatest four abilities of the oh, game. Oh, for sure. Like th- there, there's something just so special about each one of them that that really enhances the gameplay experience. Yeah, and, in, and the fact that, that like I, recall is is unlimited. Um, yeah, that, and, and that's, there's that's no timer kind of on that, and it can and it can. There's I don't I don't think there's like a, a distance for it, right? That you can just see it as long as you can see it, you can recall it mm-hmm. I, for the most part. Like it's it's so it comes yeah that recall is so is so good yeah I I I still forget to use recall sometimes but yeah. whenever I do think of it I'm like oh my gosh I feel so good genius. yeah so yeah those those are the the temples that we have done we've got obviously got to do the the last one um mm-hmm. but I'm, I I want to put it off because I don't know how much is left story wise for the game outside of you know outside of those temples I'm assuming there's probably gonna be some more stuff but. Yeah. The fact that I've seen the cutscene when you get into the depths underneath Hyrule Castle makes me think that this is going to be it. But there, there's got to be a, there's got to be a conversation where everybody comes together or something. I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, because there there are a few pieces missing, like a few um, uh, video like videos, tra- yeah. yeah, trailers were uh, missing from from uh, my my inventory, and I've I've done all the dragons tears. Yeah, you want you want to talk about yes. that since you since you brought it up. Okay, so major, major, major spoilers. Yeah, super, super huge one. spoilers. Um, I I would honestly recommend not doing this quest or not finishing it until you've completed all the dungeons and you're ready to finish the yeah. game. Because, and I kind of and they they did the same thing in Breath of the Wild, but I wish there was a way for them to give you those flashbacks in order because. I mean, I know there's obviously the the final flashback you can't do until you've completed all of them, but I kind of wish they would have given it to you in order, but um, made it is what it is. Yeah, 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 I wish, I, I yeah, I wish that, and then I also wish they just locked it off until, yeah, until you finish all the dungeons. Yeah, that, that would have been. It's so, it's so significant, and it, and it makes you want to finish the game. Yeah, it really um, does. I just want to see what happens. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, so. just we'll we'll just dive right into it again. It's huge, super super spoilers. Like probably the most spoilery thing we can talk about at this moment. But um, after you learn about the, you know, how Zelda got, you know, transported in time back to you know King Raru and, um, so, is it Sonya? Is that Sonya? His? Yeah. Sonya, um, Queen of Hyrule, <laughs> and kind of learn the events up until the point you know the imprisoning war and and how they defeat Ganon Ganondorf in the past yeah <laughs> and it talks about it in one of the videos or one of the flashbacks there if you eat the tear this the you secret become. stone you turn into an eternal dragon and that's that was kind of foreshadowing for sure and then so but yeah in an attempt to to reforge the master sword because she yeah because she knew I guess because I, mean, I got. I guess at this point she had. They had already defeated Ganondorf or sealed him away. Yeah, I think they had, they had already sealed. But obviously, sealed she away. knows in her time that he comes back. So and they need that sword. So yeah, again in, in the mm-hmm. attempt to revitalize it, she eats it and becomes a dragon. <laughs> becomes a dragon and, and and uses all of that time in between. In between then and now, to yeah. to to reforge the master sword because I guess it needed that much time, and 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 that was the dragon you saw at the beginning of the game. Yep, and I I don't I don't remember seeing that dragon anymore throughout the game. I didn't either, but I don't know maybe. where it typically showed up. I I mean I I think it's like available for you because you can you could jump on there at any point and get the master sword. Really? So you can just get onto it? That that's that's super cool. I mean, I mean yeah, like if you have enough stamina. Yeah, but, that's right. That's right. Um Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah. That see, Zelda turns into a dragon. Yeah, and you don't it's know It's very sad too. Yeah, it's super sad because I mean, you know, Link I think it's clear it's very clear that they are in a relationship in this game. Mm-hmm. Um 
so that sucks for Link, obviously. But uh, yeah, just just super. And my my thing is, obviously, there's the the whole Zelda timeline that doesn't really matter. But I think Breath of the Wild and, and clearly with Tears of the Kingdom, this is like a redo of that. This is like starting over from scratch. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously, with it going back, like, King Robert's the first first king, and then Zelda turns into an eternal dragon. Like, does she get reincarnated at some point? Like, like they normally yeah, would. I don't know how that works. So it feels like all, all the games were kind of retcon, and this this is, like, starting the cycle, like, over from scratch with, an, you know, with their own story. Again, it doesn't really matter, because, like, the timeline doesn't really matter in any of the other games. But, I mean, the fact that they... We're like, hey, this is you know Skyward Sword. This is the the first game, the first one. And I'm I'm kind of I'm a little bit sad that there, there's no Skyloft in the game, at least that we don't know. I mean, there could be. Right? Like I thought, like I, I thought that's what they were alluding to when they when they re remastered Skyward Sword, and then and then they showed off the Sky Islands. I was like, okay, there has to be some sort of connection there, and maybe, maybe there maybe, is. Maybe yeah, maybe there is. Like maybe once you do the four, the four like f- regional phenomenon things, like. Maybe something happens and that would be pretty awesome. But mm-hmm. um, the fact that I haven't seen anything on Twitter about it either, like that, you know, it, right? It's probably not going to happen. But I, yeah, I thought for sure that Skyloft would be involved or something. But I don't know. Yeah. Um, have you have you done all three of the uh, mazes yet? No, I've have only you, done one. Done one. Okay. 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 Cool. Is, does something happen when you do all three? Well, you just get you just get the the Ganondorf set because you you should have the Ganondorf sh- set. So did you did you go down into the depths after you did the first one? Yeah, you did? yeah, and I fought you fought the like boss down there. The 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 flux yeah thing. And did you get did you get a item? I did. Okay, yeah, that that's part part one of the Ganondorf set. I, I thought it was like a. Do you, wait, you know what it's called? I it's, I, it's not like called the Ganondorf. It's set, not. Yeah, it? it's not called Ganondorf, but it's it was it like the description says it's it's used by an evil entity, and he looks like the he looks like the Ganondorf clothes from like Ocarina of Time. Oh dang! I completely missed that. Yeah. I, so you yeah, should have I it. Might have it the legs. Yeah, it should it should it should increase like your sneakiness level. Um, sneakiness. Yeah, sneakiness. Like being oh, sneakiness. sneaky. Sneakiness. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you, it should be in I'm there, but yeah, there's there's three yeah. there's three parts of that. Okay. So it's it's pretty cool because hmm. like the 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 chess piece has like his cape and stuff too, so it's super super That's badass. badass. Yeah, super awesome. Oof. Um, Where have you get? have you found? Have you been to the Coliseum in the depths? Yes, I did get. I you think get, I got Minda's Minda's helmet. Helmet yeah, that. that was that was super cool. Where yeah, that it, was a cool fight. I think there's more of those too. Like more yeah, of the I'm, fights. I figured there probably was. I figured there was a full a full minute set. Um I'm not I'm not quite sure, but yeah, that, that was awesome. Um yeah. I still have a lot to explore in the depths. I do too. I barely yeah. scratched the surface so of, of the depths. There's so much. Yeah. But it but it, it to uh, another helpful tip, if you're traveling in the depths and you don't have the map unlocked look at pull up the surface map and you can kind of guide yourself because a you can see where the shrines are that you've unlocked around the surface and also if there's like water and stuff you that's going to be a wall that you cannot get around or go above i mean you Um, you might be able to go around because if it's like a lake or something but if as far as like wall wise goes you can't climb it it just goes all the way to the surface Okay, that's good to know. So that yeah. that super that helped me out a, a lot during the um the during the Koga quest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that's probably what I'll do next. Is that Koga quest? Yeah, it's super super awesome. I love that the whole love that whole that whole quest. But uh, I, I know we'll talk more about Zelda next week. Is there anything else that you want to talk about before we dive into the news? I mean, how knowing what we know now with with Zelda becoming the this you know, eternal dragon. Yeah. Losing herself and all that stuff. And, and and being really sad. How do you think it's going to end? Do you think she's going to become her true self again? She's, I don't know if they'll do that, but she's got to be involved in like the final fight at some point. Mm. She always is. 
do you think Ganondorf eats his? That would be crazy. Yeah. And you have to fight a dragon. Or or maybe you know, ride Zelda or something. Yeah. And and yeah, ride Zelda and fight fight Gandorf. I didn't think about him eating dragon. his own his own stone. That's yeah. I mean who knows if he knows about that, if he knows about like the, yeah. that power potential from eating your uh He might. I mean stone, he was but... he was there all that time ago. Yeah. Wow. I don't know, man. I'm I'm excited for that final fight. I think it's gonna be a lot a lot better than uh i hope so the breath of the wild yeah, the breath of the wild, it was it was not that great i mean it was like i don't know it was gonna be it was cool but it wasn't like anything uh, like yeah I, th- I think the second phase was pretty cool with yeah the, whatever wild ganon whatever it was the yeah like the ganon like the <clears throat> yeah the full-on ganon mm-hmm. um cool we'll we'll definitely talk about some more about zelda next week um as we continue on our you know, traveling around Hyrule and all that good stuff. Your journey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let, let's dive into uh, the news. So I'll, I'll quickly go over the other ones before we dive into the showcase stuff. And we'll, we'll talk about it pretty quickly. I'm sure a lot of other places have talked about this to death. But um, Witcher 3 cost, uh, crosses 50 million units sold just to Witcher 3. Uh, and then the series as a whole has crossed 75 million. So that's pretty huge. Rookie, rookie numbers. <laughs> yeah, rookie numbers. <laughs> That's that's huge. No, that, I, I didn't realize it had sold that much. I didn't either. I, th- I thought it was like maybe at 20, 25 million. Yeah. But damn, 50 million. It's really impressive. Yeah, that's 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 crazy. Um, yeah. But yeah, good, good for I mean, I know they, they've got a couple of games in development. So, mm. you know, I, I don't know if I'll ever complete Witcher 3 at this point. I just I don't know if I will. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot you hadn't finished it yet. So we'll see. I'm excited yeah. for the new season that comes out. Yeah, uh, and they've apparently renewed it for up to five seasons. So I, I, I think that's a little bit gutsy considering Gar- um, Henry uh, Cavill is not going to be there after season three. But yeah, it's a bold, that's a bold move. Yeah, maybe I that, don't know how that's going to play out. But. I don't know. Um, and then uh, from the recent patch, Nintendo removes the, the duplication glitch and Tears of the Kingdom, uh, which I did not use this. Um, I never, I never got around to trying it. Uh, I mean, normally we don't talk about patches and stuff like that, but. Um, there it kind of sparked some stuff in the community because again, referencing stuff like you know Elden Ring and Dark Souls, like half the community loved the glitch and half of the community were like, "Well, that's cheating." And it's like, is it really cheating in a single player game? Like, why are you guys so no, concerned like really about how people? And again, that's that's the long age talk of, of Dark Souls and all that stuff. It's just people get so upset about how you play the game and don't yeah. focus on their own enjoyment. So. I just really briefly wanted to to bring that up, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, if it's a single player game, I think you should be able to play it how you want. But... Yeah, as long as you don't hurt anybody else and right. aren't cheating in a multiplayer game, like who cares? Who cares how you yeah. play? It's it's fine. Um, well, let's uh let's let's kind of dive into the PlayStation Showcase. Nate, did you watch? Did you watch the whole thing? I yeah, I skimmed it. Okay, um, that's probably the best, that's probably the way to go. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, there there was really nothing there. Uh, nothing of note, especially first party wise. I think Spider Man was the only thing. What What was your expe- expectations going into this? Because I was on kind of the hype train as it, it felt kind of the hype level of like a Nintendo Direct, and those are always yeah. overhyped and all that stuff. And everybody gets always gets disappointed. But I don't know coming coming off all the the Xbox negativity and stuff like that. I thought Sony was going to just blowcate like just blow it out of the water with with all their announcements and, and say hey we are solidifying this generation as PlayStation PlayStation is you know compared to Xbox um you know PlayStation is the top dog out of these two consoles this is what you this is where you should be playing on and as somebody who doesn't own a PlayStation and I don't really feel the need to own one right now and especially coming after this I think they dropped the ball incredibly hard on the showcase. I, I think they they really missed the mark. Like it, it might as well have been a third party showcase, just a you know like a a normal um, state of play. Yeah, I mean a, we haven't had a showcase, showcase in two years, and they called it a showcase. And, this and is when they show off. And then, then we got really a state of play. We got like a prolonged state of play. 
like there was really nothing of note that that I was excited for. <clears throat> yes, yeah. just a bunch of stuff that's probably really far off. Yeah, I mean, like a, a, as a obviously as a, as you and I who who play on everything, you know, it's not a huge deal. But as like a person who only owns a PlayStation, I would be incredibly nervous about the way Sony and PlayStation are kind of moving forward in their their game plan with PlayStation because a lot of this stuff was you know the live service e type of type of stuff and you know i, there, I there's probably a four or five games that that got announced and i'm like we're, we're gonna be seeing we're gonna be seeing an like a, a closure of this game in a in a year or so in, yeah. in the studio you know specifically like oh like dude like the the, the jade raymond studio um oh gosh uh it's like something games when it's got like the dollar sign in the name. I'm like, that's, that's like a, that's, that's like a punch, like to punch the gamer directly in the face type of disrespect. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff like that in there as well. Like, I can't, I can't remember the name of the studio. Hold on. I think it's, that's not flashpoint. Um, Jake Raymond studio. Um, it's Haven studios and it's fair games is what the game is called. Bear games, bear games, and it ends with a, a money. Yeah, it just, it just, I don't know. I, I feel like we're getting into, we're getting back into this era with, with Sony and PlayStation. Back when like the PS3 came out, and like it was six hundred dollars, and just That's the Huber's era. Very, yeah, very, very cocky. And I get it, you know, PlayStation, like they, they've got some fantastic games, and they, they've made their mark in the industry with these single player games that are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I understand that, you know, maybe, maybe there's concern with like, you know, how we've got to keep spending, you know, hundred million, $200 million on these single player games and how much money are they bringing in versus, you know, something like, like a, a live service game or a multiplayer only game where they could, you know, they're probably not super expensive to make, but I mean, obviously right. they're expensive to, to keep active, you know, play, paying for the servers, but they can bring in a lot of revenue. Uh, and I think that's what we're trying to go with some of these games. But I don't know, you look like something like Foam Stars, like the, the Splatoon, Splatoon knockoff. absolute yeah, Splatoon knockoff. Looks, it's hard to look at. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just kind of. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Off -putting. Yeah, very, very off putting. So, again, that's one of those studios that I mentioned, like. One of those I mean, that, games. That's that, square, I think. It, it, yeah, it is square. But um, again, I, a year or so after that game comes out, like I just expect a, you know, a closure of the of the game. But right, you can you can already see the writing on the wall. You can you can yeah. see the uh, you can see the the post or the, the whatever it is like the yeah the letter to fans exactly um, <laughs> such a success. But but we've made the unfortunate decision to close down the the servers this this May whatever. Yeah, and I and I think I think blank. just after after this uh, showcase, I think Xbox heads Phil Spencer and and alike just kind of collectively sighed together like a sigh of relief because right, you know they could have Sony could have actually, again blew everybody out of the water, had all these incredible games announced, and, and really hyped up the rest of the generation. Yeah, and yeah, and again it hyped up the rest of the generation, and uh, right now I mean we, again we we don't. We don't have anything from Xbox, but the things that they have in the pipeline, Fable, Starfield, you know, all these games, you know, Avowed, which we haven't seen, Hellblade. but, you know, Hellblade, like those games look like they're going to be better than what PlayStation currently has to offer. Right. You know, we've got, and, we've you know, got we know we have Spider-Man and we have Wolverine. Right. And then we, and those are both in like those are both in Somnia. Yeah. <laughs> so or in Som yeah, in Som yeah. In Somnia. Yeah. So. I don't know. I think Xbox they they got a a good deal to that, and the, and the fact that they have that that tweet ready to go with all the games, they're like, hey, also all, all these, these games good. are on Xbox as well. It's like nothing was first party from Sony, yeah. and that that was that was the biggest shocker, I think. Yeah, that, um, that was super weird. Well, let's switch over one more time, and then we'll then we'll wrap everything up. Yep. All right. So was there? I mean, was there anything from the showcase? I mean, Spider Man looked cool. Um, I'm excited to see where that story goes. Uh, but like other than Spider-Man, was there anything that you thought looked cool from the showcase? Um, just, just stuff that's already been announced, like 
the plucky squire yeah yep like that looks amazing i'm really excited for that this yeah, year that's cool uh i think there were a few other metal like, metal, metal gear games. looks looks really good but well, granted we didn't see any and, and again like i am so sick and tired of seeing cgi cutscenes. I, i'm done with it i, I mm-hmm. want to see gameplay <laughs> like yeah if, if if you just show uh just a pre-rendered cutscene, like okay this game isn't coming out for another three years yeah. why'd you even show it yeah if you're not gonna show gameplay at this point like Gameplay there's, there's really no yeah there's really no point showing off the game yeah but that, that was heavily like speculated and rumored for to come out so cool mm-hmm. that's got announced um but yeah i know, I know there's a couple of other things that we got to see that's i'm looking forward to uh, uh there's a new cat quest coming out that looks cat pretty quest, good. yeah yeah the first one was actually really good yeah i played the demo for the second one it was it was pretty cool it was like yeah. a cool like rpg like pretty light rpg mm-hmm. um what else what else was there i'm gonna pull up the list uh oh gosh we got the playstation q device nick oh what, are, what are your thoughts on this what a thing what, what a trash device just a just a wii u knockoff so yeah th- this thing got rumored a couple months ago um and i was just why and then they announced it here and mm. again this is that hubris that i'm that we were that you were just talking about like what is the point of this thing at all? Like, it has to be on your own Wi-Fi. It has to be connected to the PS5. You can't take it on the go. It's not a Switch. Right. You have to play games that are downloaded on your PS5. So it's it's just a streaming device, but you can't you can't take it outside of your house. Yeah, this is like, hey, I want to play PS5 in bed. I guess it's like is like yeah, that's like the only the only place you would use it. Yeah, this this thing I, I just do not see who is gonna and again coming off like the psvr2 like not hitting sales numbers like what are they doing i, I just and you know this thing is gonna cost 300 bucks yeah i, I bet you it, around that it's gonna be about 300 bucks i get like 250 i think so it's a, it's an eight inch hd screen um it's got all the same features as i mean it's it's literally a dual sense cut in half and, and added a, added a eight inch screen uh in between it um mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 a very odd device. I I don't see who this is marketed to, uh, other than like I don't know, just the hardcoreest of the hardcore Sony fans. fans. Um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm not sure what the point of this thing is, but uh, and then they announced like the earbuds, which they look they look pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, earbuds are cool. Um, but so weird. I I totally forgot about that announcement. Yeah, and and again, we if it was like a hundred bucks, like a little bit more expensive than a dual sense, sure, like that that could be right. interesting. Um, or maybe like they it's like they they made a Wii U, like the Wii U was not a good idea back in twenty fifteen. Why is this? Well, they they, they made a bad version of a Wii U. Yeah, because this can't. Yeah, this doesn't even do like the dual, unless we don't know anything about it because they didn't give us much details about it. So maybe maybe developers will use it as like a second screen but i just don't think that they will they don't i don't think most of them really use the dual sense that much so mm-hmm. I, I don't know it's just a, just an odd device um going back to the games and then we'll wrap up uh we got to look at another look at assassin's creed mirage which i don't know if i'm gonna play but it's cool to see like a throwback to the first one so it's like yeah it's not necessarily like an open world game anymore it's just like a, a kind of a city that you get to, to go, go into and they emphasize stealth more. So that's cool. That's going back yeah, to its that'd roots. Be, that'd be awesome. Um, Alan Wake 2 looks awesome. Yeah, that game. Really excited for that one. Uh, it comes out October, October 17th. Okay. That's so Assassin's Creed Mirage comes out October 12th and then that one is a week later. Um, oh, we have Marathon. Yeah, another. Back. Yeah, it's like an extraction shooter, I think. Yeah, but which that, that's not what it was when it originally came out, right? No, it was not a an extraction shooter. It was something completely yeah. different. Okay. Um, we got to look at Dragon Dog Dragon Dogmas Two, which looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. Last trailer, I guess, for Final Fantasy Sixteen. Which are you going to pick up that game, Nick? Or are you going to like know. wait for reviews and see what see what wait happens? For reviews. It looks or it looks cool. Yeah, no, it does look good. It's just it's it's going to be a big game. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, ho- yeah. I heard it's not open world. It's more of like a open zone ish kind of game, I think. So maybe it's that not as big as is more enticing to me right now. Yeah. 
Um, look at Street Fighter Six, Talus Principle Two, Foam Stars. Looks so weird. Um, Phantom Blade Zero looks kind of interesting. That ge- I'm sorry, that game's never going to come out. You don't think so? No, it's it's from a um, mobile a questionable developer. Yeah, and it's like a, yeah. they, they make they make mobile games because like Phantom Blade is I think it's already a series on the mobile like on the on the phones and stuff. So I mean, it looks it looked too good. The gameplay, if that was gameplay, it looked too good. Uh, apparently, it started development in 2022. Oh, what the heck? There's no way. I think I think what we saw was just like a CGI a vertical slice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't um, know see that. Ever. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil 4 remake VR looks actually really cool. We got yeah, this the knife really and gun in, in both hands. That looks that could be awesome. Yeah, that's that that is like the one thing that would make me want to get uh PSVR too. Yeah. Um, let's see. Just and, kind and of indie stuff. I guess we, we haven't really talked about Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. What were your what was your I think it sucked that they waited to have Spider-Man at the very end because they knew that it would have to like carry the show. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because what else? I don't know. Closed with. Yeah, it's. I don't know. It, it looks like Spider-Man. I, I'm not super hyped on this game. Um, yeah, the, the, I don't know. It's like this, another this action-packed me. chase sequence. Like that's like the big. Yeah. Is that is that always like PlayStation's like? gameplay segments that they just show a ch- like a giant chase scene because it, it reminded me of uncharted 4 yeah of like that that big chase scene that ended like on the train and stuff yeah uh, like yeah i was like this is the same thing yeah not to, not not to knock it necessarily but yeah i feel like that's their their gameplay demos are always <laughs> chase scenes so it's always a big like set piece action sequence yeah. which i mean it looks good it does like, it don't does. Get me wrong like it looks fun um and the seamless like transition between miles and peter it looks yeah. incredible yeah and then yeah seeing peter kind of like turn to uh to the the, the dark side a little bit yeah he's got the he's, he's got the symbiote quotes. the ven- venom in him so yeah at some point miles is gonna have to probably fight peter and yeah. bring him back and save him uh which which is interesting which is which is cool like that'd be a really that'd probably be a really awesome fight yeah i wonder but, if like I, that'd be cool if like you you switch off seamlessly between both of them fighting each other. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. So that that's like that's gonna be a really cool dynamic in Spider Man Two is like the yeah. the dynamic between Miles and and Peter. And, and, and I, I say I'm not hyped for it. I am. I I really do want to see where that story goes because I I love the first one. Um, but mm-hmm. just from what I saw, and then you add on to the fact of the showcase before that was just incredibly mid. That it kind of brought the game, kind of like, kind of like when they I showed off a bit. Tears of the Kingdom, like last year. At the end of the that Farmville direct, <laughs> and then they showed Tears of the Kingdom, and we got like a couple minutes. Like I'm really excited for it, but it kind of brought the. Whole, it, I wish they would have just put the trailer out separately, right? Because it kind of bogged it down a little bit for me, and that, I felt like the same way with this. So it's crazy again, how that can happen. Yeah, like a, a bad presentation can work can ruin a great trailer. Exactly, exactly. If they would have just put that on the side. Um, that would that would be great. But uh, yeah, it, lo- it looks great. I-, I do want to play it at some point. I don't know if it's going to entice me to pick up a PS5 um, in order to right, play this it. This is PS5 only. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, at least I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Mm-hmm. I don't think a PS4 could do that seamless transition like that. But I don't think so. Um, and then, of course, after the announcement, I-, I don't know if it was just like the PlayStation fanboys just taking an L for, for the first time in a while that they were, they were saying that, Oh, you know, PlayStation's holding back games and we'll, we'll get more stuff late. Like, no, why would they hold back games? They're, they're yeah, in the that, prime yeah. position to give us games and to just kind of, I don't know, defeat Xbox this generation for sure. Like, yeah, that, 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 uh, that narrative that was, makes, that kind of deranged. That's kind of, yeah, it's delusional. It's just, yeah, twi- delusional. it's just Twitter delusion. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah was people were saying like, people were saying like, oh, there's a rumored like, there's another showcase coming later on this year. I mean, probably. Like the, well, I mean, I don't know. Like, the they're, they got to show off. One. They got to show off what the Q light is and and, and tell us what that is. 
yeah, yeah that, that's just utter delusion like it's okay they had a, they had a bad showcase i mean that's... hey nintendo had a bad showcase yeah wow last year last year yeah xbox has had many a bad showcase and yeah. everyone can admit it like I, it's 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 okay it's i okay really hope i i really hope the xbox one i want to i want a good showcase like i, I want to see what xbox has but mm-hmm. i really not to pick sides but like you know you kind of want to go for the underdog a little bit and i just want to see them have get like a, a get, get a, a win, single and, win and then just shut people up that are just so obnoxious on on twitter yeah um and I mean, then I'm la- sure no matter no matter what they show they'll uh, yeah. get well, even, even, there, even people are nitpicking the spider-man trailer on like on the like the graphical fidelity and stuff like that and i'm like yeah dude, that's, dude, that, dude, that's y'all, y'all don't understand how video game development works that that trailer that video that they showed off that's an old model of the game it's it's an early it's an earlier build that's not completely polished you know we still don't have a release date so this game could get pushed we don't we don't know so it you just yeah, understand and... how like gaming works and, and and how it's made before you have to like nitpick something it's not it's, right. it's not judge it when you have it don't judge it prior yeah and all the people comparing the like the screenshot to spider-man one all oh, the it's same like, of course like they're building using stuff. asset like of course it's yeah. new york uh, yeah why wouldn't they what do you what do you think they someone rebuilt new york like why would you not use the same city they just, just to make like, it look pretty like with hyrule yeah like dumb just and, and got to work like yeah. yeah, you're going to reuse assets wherever possible because you're trying to save on development time. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then the kind of the final uh, part of the showcase story was obviously Factions yeah. was nowhere to be seen, and that was almost guaranteed by a lot of people yeah. um, from the, you know, for the, the Last of Us Factions multiplayer thing. Um, Naughty Dog came out uh, a day or so later and kind of posted that, you know, it's been delayed. Um, and then Jason, mm-hmm. Jason Schreier, uh, he's, is he from, he's from Blue, Bloomberg, right? Uh, yeah, he's Bloomberg. Uh, he he said he basically he came out and said that the factions team um, is a lot of them are moving on to other projects and the game itself mm-hmm. is being reevaluated. Um, he mentioned that people from Bungie um, that, that make Destiny came in there to kind of give some guidance and said that as a live service game, it's not enticing enough to keep people's play, keep players there long term. So mm-hmm. It doesn't look good. I, I don't know if this thing's going to come out at this point. Yeah, and that kind of sucks because like this was supposed to come out with Last of Us Two right? yeah, back in twenty twenty. Yeah. Like, I, which it, you know it point, expanded because I mean you know Last of Us One had multiplayer and it was decent and I think that's what they were going to do for two, but then it expanded out to, to the, more of a live service thing. And to be honest, like as a live service game, this might have been the one for me. You know, it could have been a really cool thing um yeah but now that we've gotten these reports it's just not coming together as it should be yeah and like at least they're at least they're reevaluating rather than sending it out to die like yeah you you gotta respect that a little bit well you you, Um, last of us is like the top tier playstation franchise so for them to put something out that's not quality i think it will just be a really bad look to playstation and, and naughty dog so i mean if you mm-hmm. gotta can it can it and just say it's canceled I mean, it is what it is yeah I, I i don't think it's a good look if they're they're pulling people off of the team yeah yeah you it's know. all it's all speculation we don't we don't actually know but that's what it, that's what it seems like but yeah i don't know but yeah i mean we've got so much we got all the summer games fest starting here in a couple of weeks we got xbox's showcase ubisoft is showcase I know that's coming up not this not this week but next week right next week yeah so it's we got a lot to look forward to um when when is the xbox stream do we know what time i I know i know they've announced the time for it it's it's on a sunday right is it is it on a on on, um i think i think it's june 11th june 11th June eleventh, yeah, June eleventh. What what time is it? Xbox showcase. <clears throat> uh, it's a one p.m. One p.m. Okay, yeah. that's on a Sunday. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably we'll we'll definitely uh, if I stream that. Yeah, we'll definitely uh live live react to that. So, and then there's a Starfield direct uh, that day right too. After that, right? Yeah, right after. 
Yeah. So uh, yeah, that'd be. I mean, see first, that like, that's real look, and I'm I'm not calling one company better, but I think that's a really smart way to do that. Like you have like your big focused game. Like mm-hmm. I feel like if they were if Sony was to do that with Spider Man, say hey we got a Spider Man showcase right after this. Here's 15 minutes of that game. And then we'll, you know, and then we'll have the and regular here's our state of play. And here's our state, <laughs> here's our state of play, showing off these games. I think that would have like helped out with the uh, the narrative of mm. of, uh, of the, uh, the the showcase. But Definitely. it is what it is. Yeah, it was it was it was bad. I mean, even like it was bad. B- yeah. Big was PlayStation bad. lovers like uh, Greg Miller. I, I listened to his podcast and he gave it like a two out of five. So you know, he's like one of the biggest fanboys out there. So and I, I love Greg Miller. I think I think he does a great job over it. Kind of funny, but. Yeah, for him to come out there and say it's a two, then you know it's, it's sad. you know you know it's not not a great uh, not a great showcase. But yeah, and yeah, I didn't really hear anyone like defending it. No, saying, yeah, saying it was it was it was good in yeah. any way. Um, not much you can defend. You can't really pull anything out of it. No. But I mean, it's like yeah, it's just like that that Nintendo Direct with all the farm stuff. Like you just gotta yeah take the L, and, take the L and, and move, move on. on. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to uh, wrap up the show. We definitely, definitely appreciate everyone uh, listening and uh, mm-hmm. watching and all that good stuff. So again, next week we'll we'll be talking more more Zelda for sure, and uh, whatever other news happens. Nick, any yeah. any final any final thoughts on the week? No. Hopefully, I'll be back in better form next week. <laughs> yeah, get get some uh, get some rest, and uh, we will see you guys next week. All right. Bye bye. Bye-bye.